Hi guys, Neil at Italia Autos here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be doing a big brake conversion on a Twin Spark GTV. Now I have already started the conversion on this side. We are just missing the, the necessary bolts to attach the caliper. But I've already done the conversion on this side. These are using the 32mm GTA brakes and the 330mm 166 calipers and the adapter brackets, which you can readily buy on the internet. Now this is a complete DIY setup here. You can't buy a complete kit and just bang it all on. It is fairly straightforward, but you just can't buy the complete kit in one go. Uh, difficult parts are you need to separate your caliper if you want to fit the 32mm wide discs um, the kit that I've bought with it does come with the kit, but I know a lot of these Brembo calipers are getting on quite a bit now and the chances of you getting all the bolts out you need to are quite difficult. So you may want to look at getting your calipers refurbished or make sure they've already been loosened off before you buy them. Now what you need to do the conversion is a pair of 166 calipers. These are the 330mm ones, so we've got the 330 discs to go with it. These are the 32mm wide ones, so we will have to fit the supplied spacers. You also get a replacement brake pipe because it's going to be a little bit wider to go down there so you are going to have to bend that to the right shape you also get four longer bolts to go through the caliper and you'll also want a set of uh, pads to go with it as well so to start we need to remove the old disc caliper and bracket right two 19 mils on the back they're normally very tight indeed You might want to get a breaker bar on the back of those as well. You will need these bolts again later. Remove the caliper. Just leave this dangling to one side. I am leaving it dangling because this pipe is going to be replaced. Now we just need to remove this 12mm pin so we can get the brake disc off. But it is very tight. Please don't break. It appear to have got away with that one. What I'm also going to do is remove this backing plate here because they normally just rust away and while it's all off I might as well get rid of it. Never really known any stones to actually get caught in the, uh, the back of these discs so uh, you are safe just to remove that. Now the adapter plate has to go on now. It goes on this part at the back of the hub and put the bolts through this way this time. Now I did have a little, have to have a little look online to um, see how they fit because I couldn't, couldn't work it out because I'd never done this conversion before. So uh, it'll be good for you guys to actually have a video of how these fit because the kit itself doesn't come with any instructions. Now we've done the adapter plate, we can put the disc on now. And I'll give it a clean up afterwards. So now we need to split the caliper and fit the spacers. You've got four bolts which hold the caliper together. So these are the ones which are normally really tight to undo. So uh, be very careful when you're doing that. Uh, these have already been loosened off. 
these sorts of videos where I should have a manicure before I uh, start work. The one thing about being a mechanic is you've always got dirty hands. The only times my hands ever get properly clean, as in when I can't see any dirt on them, is on the last day of my holiday after I've been on a holiday for two weeks. It is uh, an absolute nightmare in this trade keeping your hands clean. And especially in this climate, the cost of rubber gloves has doubled, so uh, I don't use as many of those as I used to. Right, we are nearly there now. What we also need to do is remove this pipe from the bottom of the caliper. That is uh, probably a 10 or 11 mil. So it's a 10 mil spanner we need on this one. They are normally a pig to undo as well. But as this caliper has been refurbished, they're all nice and loose. Now one on the other side to do. There we go, the caliper now will separate. Let's remove these bolts because we don't need those anymore. Pop the new ones in the hole. Now these plates will only fit in one direction. can be a bit tight to get through but I just wind them down and it normally sorts itself out. Let's just take the pads out. Got it taken out before I fix them. Should have done this first, really. do these up by hand and then torque them up once they're fitted to the car. The last thing you want to do with your expensive Brembo calipers is double thread them. I should have a blue Peter moment and here's one I made earlier. Now they're back together, I'm going to torque these back up on the car, so that's why I'm not doing it now. And now we've got to fit this and shape it. What I normally do is plug one side in, screw it in a few threads, make sure it's pushed all the way down, put your finger in the way and then just bend it over. You can use bake, brake, you can use bake, blah, blah, I can't make words out right today, bake, blah, blah brake pipe bending tools but to be honest this is a sufficient way of doing it because you can straighten them all up afterwards now don't worry about them at this point if they're not all straight and, and how you'd like it once they're in position and screwed in a couple of threads you can then sort out how well they look the main point is, is getting them in the threads 
without causing any damage to the threads. Now that looks as though it's gone in, so let's just tighten that up a little bit. And if you have had these just painted, you do need to be quite careful when tightening it up because you can chip the paint with the spanner. Right, going to tighten these up off camera, but when you're doing it, just make sure you take it nice and easy so nothing gets chipped or double threaded. Okay, we've now fitted the brake pipe. As you can see, just make sure none of it is touching, especially around that bolt there, otherwise you might get some vibrations off it. One more job before we fit the caliper is we need to remove this brake pipe connector here. Now you are going to need to bleed your brakes after this, but that is a given. You'll hear a loud thud on the floor in a minute when this gives way, so I'll support it from the bottom. What you're going to do is wind the caliper onto the connector because these don't spin. So what I'd normally be doing now is fitting the correct bolts into here to secure the caliper. But as we don't have the bolts quite yet, I'm just going to chuck these through as a temporary measure. So, so there we go. Yes, the brake pipe is a little bit long but we will be swapping those over because they are the wrong ones. So now let's fit the uh, brake pads. Now the only place to put copper slip is on the top and bottom of the pads. Now I've misplaced the other pad. Now just for the purposes of this video, I'm fitting the shorter pins, but you will also need to buy a longer pin set for the 32mm calipers. So obviously when you're doing this job at home, you will have the correct pins and the correct bolts to secure the caliper. So once you're at that point and you're all fitted and everything is correct, you just need to bleed your brakes, make sure you've got nothing rubbing. And that is your lot. So there we go guys, one set of big Brembo brake calipers fitted to this GTV. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like and also subscribe if you've got this far through the video for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.